Here we have another J-Mac Performance engine build. This is a 350 Chevy, which is bored 30 over, makes it 355 cubic inches. It's making approximately 375 horsepower, about 380 foot-pounds of torque. I've received several questions as to how I know how much power the engine is making. I've got a computer program that I enter all of the um, specs of the engine from the compression to cam timing, cylinder head flow numbers, uh, the uh, actual the timing, uh, ignition timing, and the uh, size of the carburetor, and it, go, it gives me the information. I used to be a dyno operator, and we went through and we tried to verify the information on that computer program, and it was anywhere from plus or minus 10 horsepower from engines that are up to about 450 horsepower. It comes with angle plug cylinder heads, which these are kind of rare. Um, back in the day, Chevy used to sell these things over the counter. They never were on an uh, actual production car. So these heads have been fully ported. They've uh, got stainless steel valves, three angle cut, valve cut on them. They're capable of handling a lot more horsepower. I put a smaller cam in this thing to make it a little bit more streetable. More people tend to want it to be a little bit more streetable, but you could easily make more horsepower by simply just change, putting a bigger camshaft in it because the cylinder heads will handle it. It comes with a Performer RPM intake manifold and a uh, Edelbrock 750 carburetor. The intake manifold has been match ported to the cylinder heads. So again, the, the heads could, it, the engine can handle a lot more horsepower. Comes with an HEI distributor, just like all JMAC Performant engines. It comes with a flex plate, starter, fuel pump, water pump. The engine is complete and is ready to go. When, it cut, when I say I blueprint the motor, this is what you get with every JMAC Performance engine. It breaks down every single specification inside the motor has been verified. Make sure that the engine is gonna stay together and, and run for a screamy long time. See, it's got great oil pressure. It's only idling around 900 RPM. We run all the engines for a minimum of 20 minutes. Make sure they're broke in, no oil leaks. a vacuum in case you wanted to run power brakes. If you want more information about this engine or any of the other engines that we build, go to jmacperformance.com.